So this is another not terribly serious video about if you have your moon in a certain element, what does it mean about your sexual preferences, your sexual um, proclivities. Uh, this one's about water. So basically, if you have your moon in Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, what does that say about you sexually? Um, the Let's start with the, um, the cardinal, which is Cancer. So... Um, First of all, water itself is to do with emotions and, and yeah, emotions, let's say that. So a cancer being the cardinal, the most um, highly pure expression of that emotion means that um, you're probably the, the moon sign most likely to say, I love you while you're having sex. So you, um, you're protective of yourself. Um, sex is something that can actually open up your heart. So it's kind of tricky. Actually, it's true more than, at least with two of the three water signs, it's true. Um, but you know, so basically you are, um, you're a loving, caring, um, and responsive, uh, sensitive and, uh, very attentive. That's maybe the word I'm looking for a partner in sex. So, you know, honestly, like, you know, you're probably a very good lover in the sense that you really pick up on what your partner is into and you're responding to it to the best of your ability and you're doing so in a very nurturing and unselfish way. So that makes for a very positive experience for hopefully you, you know, in the sense that you're getting satisfaction from, from pleasuring that other and then for them as well. They're very fortunate to have you. Now, if you have a Scorpio uh, moon, that gives you a very strong intensity tinging that so that your emotions are basically kind of going very deep into the le the realm of intensity, extreme experience. And so that can make you a very um, uh, deep person to connect with sexually, a very exciting person to connect with sexually. Uh, you, unlike the other two water signs, might not be as concerned about your partner's pleasure, uh, although just naturally you might spark it by your enthusiasm. Um, so, you know, I mean, I could also see a lot of sexual jealousy arising or, or a lot of intensity in that regard because there's a possessiveness with Scorpio uh, that hasn't happened with the other two water signs as much. Um, but it is, uh, can be, you know, very stimulating to be with someone like you and you, and you may seek uh, that type of intensity uh, and, and basically avoid more uh, fluffier or softer situations. Now, if you are a somebody who has a water sign in Pisces or moon, sorry, moon in Pisces, that is, um, you know, a plus and a minus. Um, Pisces is a tough sign. It's, it's one of my favorites. It's the most beautiful sign of the Zodiac in some ways, but the, tr the trouble with Pisces is it's so spiritual. It's so giving. It's so unselfish that um, sometimes it's more concerned with the other than with self to the point of giving everything away and, being easily hurt. So when it comes to sex and Pisces, um, if you want to have, if you're somebody who uh, appreciates a very spiritual experience of full union, then a Pisces moon might be just the perfect uh, sign to have your moon in. Now, on the other hand, again, you have to be very careful because it would be so easy for you if you have Pisces moon to fall in love with your sexual partner, which is great if that's what they're into, but not so great if, you know, if that's a mismatch. So you have to really be very self-protective and just really honor the, the extreme beauty that you inhabit with your sexuality through your Pisces moon.